Oh, Camden, how the fuck are we? It's nice to be here. Uh, my name's Ian, as you can tell from my accent. I'm not from round here, as you can tell from my accent. Uh, I am, in fact, British. <laughs> I'm furious about it. No offence, English people. Well done. You've done wonderful things with the place, right? But what happened was we had this referendum. Scotland had this referendum, and I'll explain to you what happened. Basically, Scotland, we were going to go independent, right? We were going to vote yes. Don't listen to, like, the facts or anything. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to vote yes. And then David Cameron promised us a load of shit. <laughs> so we didn't vote yes. Then that prick gave us none of the shit, right? That's what happened. <laughs> The analogy I'm using at the minute is, you know, like, at the end of every action film ever, there's that, like, final scene, like, the bad guy's been, like, cornered by the police. He's, like, grabbed a victim. He's got a gun. And he's just, like, making demands. He's like, I want a million pound. I want a helicopter out of here. And I want control over my own taxation policy. Right, the guy's <laughs> losing his mind. And eventually the police go, look, man, put the gun down and you can have whatever you want, right? And he puts the gun down, and they shoot him in the fucking face. <laughs> That's what it feels like to be Scottish currently, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> We've got an immigration minister at the minute. Our immigration minister, a while ago, came out in the newspapers and went, immigration! It's out of control. So apparently, immigration's out of control now. Like, you can't move for immigrants. Like, you open your bread bin, there's Romanian in there. <laughs> it's like, off he's not on carbs. <laughs> <laughs> and am I the only one listening to the immigration minister going, immigration is out of control? Thinking, dickhead, that is your job. <laughs> A minister is the only job in the world where you can be shit at your job and then just blame someone, like four years previously, that done that job. You can't do that in any other job. I can't walk into a sandwich shop, order a ham sandwich, have the guy give me a shoe and then go, I'm really sorry, mate, but a couple of years ago, this was a Timpsons. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> Britain's relationship with immigration is just so bizarre at the minute. Like, wherever you stand politically, British people, we all have one fundamental flaw when it comes to immigration, and that is this. As British people, we all romanticise how good Britain actually is. Like, wherever you stand politically, you've got these guys on the far right, like, now they come to this country, they take all our benefits. My dad never loved me. Right, you've got these guys. <laughs> But then equally on, you go on the far left, you get some maniac like a scarf on and dreadlocks in, just, come on, guys, quickly, everyone over here, yeah. Look at our countryside and infrastructure. <gasps> a brown person, how random. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I went to your country once on a gap year. Mmm. <laughs> My daddy loved me too much, you know. Wherever you stand on immigration, put the arguments to one side and think about it logically. Britain is a small island on the outskirts of Europe with shit weather in the middle of a double dip recession. If someone comes to this country, we shouldn't be happy or angry. We should be fucking surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? We're just so arrogant. Oh, everyone's coming over here. Great Britain. Yeah, so great. Yeah. <laughs> Britain has become like that 50 year old woman in a nightclub that's convinced herself that everyone's hitting on her. Right? <laughs> it's like, buy your own Bacardi and Coke, Carol Vorderman. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you to Russell for having me. I've been Ian Sterling. Good night. God bless. Thank you. All. <laughs>